Oh, yeah. Rub it just like that. Oh, yeah. This is going to be nice and wet. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, just the way I like it. Now I can see again. Well, sort of. Anyways, guys, things are not very good for you if you do live in Mississippi, Virginia. I think it's like Utah if you want to wank it. If you guys want to keep watching porn in one of the states, whether that be Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Montana, Texas, Utah, or Virginia, you're going to need a VPN to unblock this censorship and keep your your little member happy. I would recommend using an S-tier VPN rated on VPNTierless.com. The only objective rating system on the internet when it comes to VPNs because I use no sponsored ads on my channel, no actual ads on my channel at all, and I'm not sponsored by any VPN or work for any of them either. I've been reviewing VPNs for eight years, so you've come to the right place. Check out my S-tier rated VPNs, and you can check out the data table here as well to see exactly which ones are better and why. Anyways, guys, what the hell is going on with everyone's penises? Well, there is a new restrictions in these conservative countries. The Republicans who are your governors don't want you winking it. Uh, they want you spanking it. And they probably don't want you to get abortions either. But at the end of the day, you might not be able to watch porn anymore. Pornhub is restricting users from accessing its website in these states in an active protest against some other regulations going on in these states. Pornhub posted a long statement on Twitter explaining that the company thinks U.S. officials acting to prevent children from accessing adult content is great. However, the way many elect officials have chosen to implement these laws is haphazard and dangerous. Last month, the Free Speech Coalition also sued Louisiana over its age verification law, with FSC Executive Director Allison Bowden alleging that these kind of new laws now passed in seven states are unconstitutional. And that is directly the problem. A lot of these websites require even your ID, your state ID, to access porn, which is ridiculous. These laws give the state the power to harass and censor legal businesses. We, of course, support keeping minors from accessing adult content, but allowing the state to suppress certain speech by requiring invasive and burdensome systems that consumers refuse to engage with is simply censorship. Apparently, a, a description of the female nipple is enough to trickle liability in these regulations. Apparently, this can also cause issues for sex education resources and a plethora of other things. It seems like people who are mad at this are more mad about the invasiveness of the laws and the restrictions rather than the law actually restricting kids from getting access to porn, which people don't really seem to want. Uh, but they're going to start doing it anyways once they get to age of 14, especially if they're in middle school, right? Apparently, sites like Pornhub will have to comply with some of these laws or face fines up to $1 million annually. So I think the problem with Pornhub is they think they can't even enforce these laws, might be held liable. So now they're just like, okay, I'm just going to shut off the internet for you guys, which honestly isn't that bad of a form of protest. Apparently, Bo Pornhub wants device... I device based age verification, which I'm not really sure what that is, um, uh, instead of IDs. Apparently, in Arkansas, Texas, and Montana, there's going to be this uh, new law to require verification to look at porn. Apparently, Pornhub is also the eighth most visited website in the United States, which is pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and read what some of the comments think about this. So this guy is saying uh, in this article, they're saying like, well, how's it any different when you want to watch porn? You just had them ID your ID, just like at the grocery store or something like that. Um, but the difference is at the grocery store, they're not necessarily storing that information. If you buy alcohol or something like that, you're just showing it. They just look at it, you know, so it is different in that sense. Uh, lots of times storing information like this on the internet can be very dangerous, especially if it's not protected the right way. Welcome to the new nanny state where if one person shits their pants, new laws will be written to require all of us to wear, wear diapers. What do you think the bet is that the, as VPN uses rises to combat these issues, um, they'll try to make VPNs illegal too. I think that is a good um, point. A government tracked idea attached to your sexual habits definitely won't be abused. I just think it might be interesting, uh, you know, when some of the senators are watching porn and it gets leaked which ones they like. Let's definitely not regulate dangerous assault rifle weapons because mumble mumble personal responsibility. Instead, let's spend our time and money trying to keep people from accessing porn. True. 
So overall, guys, that's the news with that. If you do want to access porn in any of these states, whether that be, it's hard to keep track anymore. It looks like Mississippi, Montana, Louisiana, Arkansas, Texas, Utah, and Virginia. They can't watch porn anymore. These people are going to be very repressed. But as always, make sure to check out vpntierless.com if you want to still keep watching porn. I would recommend an S-tier VPN. All these are excellent VPNs you could choose from. Um, check out the websites and see which one you like more. I also have reviewed every one of these on my channel. So make sure to do that as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon.